she ain't got no money in the bank. It is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with a brand new Swansea City career mode. If you are enjoying the series as always, make sure you do leave a like rating, I'd very much appreciate it. And also, if you're new around here, then why not hit that subscribe button too. We're kicking things off here with Jefferson Montero coming into the office and saying, Boss, I can't lie, I was worried that you had plans to replace me. I know now it was all the media speculation that gave me a case of paranoia. Thanks for being patient and letting me know that isn't the case. Very good to see Montero's a great player and hopefully we can see him progressing a lot this season. Without further ado, let's get into this episode and see what awaits us. More good news. As you can see, Gilfie Sigurdsson is to return from his injury and can rejoin the first team squad's training session. It's up to you when you're easing back into action, but there's a chance he'll aggravate the injury if you play him too soon or for too long. So the question is, does Sigurdsson start today? He will not. We'll see the team news in a minute. And we're going to be playing Sunderland here, a team that have made a near a perfect start to the season. But can we stop them? Let's wait and see. As you can see, we're going to be easing Sigurdsson back into the game. Uh, we put him onto the bench. He is the club captain, so he's going to be a big presence, even though he's on the bench. Ratledge, Cork, Munayir. Uh, we're going to take Nias off the bench, and we're going to give Eder a chance to perform today. Hopefully, he can have a good performance if he gets the opportunity. Munayir remains uh, Cork, Ratledge, and Norton, along with Amat. Starting lineup is unchanged. Uh, Ki Sung Young comes in at centre attack and mid. Shelby drops down into CDM. Let's see if we can get the win. Okay, we are at the Stadium of Light against the Sunderland side that have made a perfect start under Dick Advocat. Can we give them their first loss or their first drop points of the season? It'd be very interesting to see. Let's get into it. Here's the Sunderland team we will be facing. Pantilamon, Matthews, Winston Reid and Eunice Cabal, Van Anholt, Catamal, Rodwell, Johnson, Lenz, Larson and Defoe with the likes of Barini, Fletcher... O'Shea and Bridcup on the bench. That's a very difficult back four to break down, but hopefully we can get the win today. The ball into the path of Jermaine Defoe. He's been in really good goal scoring form here, but Dil Silvestri makes sure that gets seen out here. Pays back into Key. Completely wrong foot to defender in. Key is in with a real chance. Cuts back inside. It's Key blocked by Winston Reid. John Joe Shelby somehow wins the header. I don't know how. Jermaine Defoe shoots, Fabianski holds on, tame effort. He might have even took a deflection on the way through. Can we test this back four? Charlie Austin with the header! What a save there from Pantilamon. Van Anholt. Off the ball dribbling there. De Silvestri surely was under pressure there. He's not. Falls to Van Anholt. What a save from Fabianski here. Game's come to life right at the end of this half. Here at the Stadium of Light. 0-0 between Sunderland and Swansea. You feel like this game is going to be one on the left side for both teams, in all honesty. Montero and Tabernu really need to start working together. And if they do start linking well, you can definitely see us probably getting the win. And also for them with Van Anholt and obviously their man, um, Jermaine Lenz. Again, they can win that on the left-hand side if they perform well. As you can see, possession they've dominated in. Shots we've had, the host of them, but we need to make possession count for us now. And um, at the end, they're doing the same thing as their... Um, Bit of rivals, Newcastle, just keeping the ball and passing it around. They're looking really good. Hopefully, we can start the second half off with a, a goal and really uh, change this game. Turn it on its head. Are you through the middle here? It's Andre, are you? What a challenge that is from Van Anholt. That could, if he had a bit of pace about him, Andre, are you? He could have made that really hurt. But Van Anholt's got the pace about him. He's given a foul again. Van Yama is just too good. Okay, we are changing things around in this team. Going 4-3-3. Uh, something's really got to give it. So Austin stays up front with Montero and Ratledge. Ayu Ar comes off. We do bring on Jack Cork also. Hopefully we can get the win now. The ball comes in. It somehow finds Charlie Austin somehow. The left back shoots. Oh... That could have been the goal we needed. If it was anyone else but Tabernu, we could have found the back of the net there. Catamol shoots from range. My word, that would have been a stunning goal there from the Sunderland captain. Shelby wriggles away. Pantilamon saves. No way. Ratledge in. Great save again. That is full 
time again. Another nil-nil against a Tyne side team. Oh my word. Oh, I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I think we deserve to win the game at the end there. Again, another boring game to watch on this Swansea career mode. But the team are steadily getting points together. We have got five points from three games, which is not too bad at all. That is Europa League form in all honesty. Um, we're missing Gilfie Sigurdsson. He will be back for the Manchester United game. It's coming up next episode, so don't miss that. I'm, I'm starting to worry a little bit. Starting to worry, but hopefully we can uh, right our wrongs against Manchester United at Old Trafford. As you can see, the full-time result here is Sunderland with two shots, Swansea with five. They dominated the possession, but like I said, they've done exactly what they did, um, what Newcastle did last episode, just passed the ball around their own half, and it was just so frustrating, couldn't get the ball off of them. Uh, it's very hard playing against legendary guys, just remember that. Uh, but a nil-nil draw, and man of the match would go to Pantinamon with 7.9 rating. I'll see you guys in the next bit of the episode. That's okay, so what we're going to do, is going to do a bit more training here. Oliveira, Di Silvestri, Shelby, Ayu, and Austin. We're all going to just get through this here and see how they do. B for Charlie Austin, D for Ayu, C for Shelby, A for Oliveira, and B for Di Silvestri. The team is starting to gel a bit well now. Uh, we're going to probably end things with a squad report coming up now, so let's get straight into that. And that is going to bring an end to today's episode. Again, not the best of videos, but we're going to hope we can bounce back against Manchester United in the next one. I'll leave you guys looking at the squad report. If you did enjoy the videos, always make sure to smash that like button. I'd very much appreciate it. If you are new around here, then why not hit that subscribe button too. When I'm back off holiday, that'll probably be after episode 11 or 12. It will go up to two games in episodes. So look forward to that, guys. Thank you for joining me today. Have a really nice day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.